Hey guys, Big Dog here, also known as Riot. I'm back with part 2 of my series, How to Make Your Own Winterboard Scheme. Today I will be showing you how to customize your wallpaper and lock screen. First you're going to have to make a new folder, and name the folder what you want your theme to be named. After that, look for some pictures off the internet of what you want your wallpaper to look like. Once you have found the pictures off the internet, save them into the folder you made on your desktop. Your folder should have nothing in it, so as you can see my pictures are right here in my folder. And what you want to do is make your pictures go into the theme folder that you want. So just click and drag them into your theme folder. Alright, now open up your theme folder. Then you want to click rename your pictures. If you, the picture that you want to be your wallpaper should be named Wallpaper with a capital W and everything else is lowercase or else it will work. And the one that you want to be your lock screen should be named Lock with a capital L Background with a capital B. I'll put those in the description so you guys can see. After that, you want to click and drag your pictures into if round B. Then it should show you the picture you want to go into image, resize, slash resample. And now you want to resize both of your pictures to 320 by 480. Once you've done that, it'll change the size of your picture. You want to change the size of your picture because if you don't, then your picture will go outside the lines of your iPod and won't show your full picture. So this is making sure that the picture will fit on your iPod screen. Once you've resized the picture, you want to go into save and save it into your folder that you're using for your theme. But, you want to save it as a PNG file. If you don't save it as a PNG file, then it will not work. To save this PNG file, you just click under the name where it says type of file, and then you scroll down to PNG and click that. Then you save it into your theme folder. Now you can delete your pictures that you haven't resized because you won't be needing them anymore. And now we can go ahead and open up iFunBox. You also want to have your iPod connected to your computer using the cord they gave you. So, once you open up iFunBox, it should say, My Computer, and then if your iPod's connected, it should show your iPod. So, you want to click on the plus by your iPod, then click on the plus by raw file system, then click on the plus under library, and then click on the plus under theme. Alright. Now you want to bring up your folder for your theme again, go back, and then drag the folder that your theme is in, and then put it into the theme folder. Alright? That just copied your theme onto Winterboard onto your iPod. So now, all you have to do is open Winterboard on your iPod, wait for it to reach spring, and then you have your theme. I'm going to show you guys mine. This is my old theme. Pretty cool. But I'm going to show you this one I'm making right now. Theme, theme collection. Select the 
have to deselect and select it again if you're updating it. If you're not, just select it and record it. And then wait for it to respring. Might take forever. So there's my iPod since it's plugged in, it shows the check screen. But right now, once you do the unlock, it shows your background, and right now it has an explosion right there. So once I log in, there's the explosion picture that I wanted for the main wallpaper, too. Uh, please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.